hi all welcome to this tutorial this is punat and today i'm going to give a quick introduction about quads and an implementation on it so what does quads quads it is nothing but a job scheduling library or a simple tool I could say uh, which it is used to schedule a job for a particular time in our application we might have some specific task which has to be executed for a given interval of time so it can also be a recursive job or a simple job so the solution for those type of questions is quads so first let me explain the components of quads quads it is basically having three components one is job second one is trigger and third one is scheduler what is a job job is nothing but a task it can be anything like displaying current date and time or a simple message or whatever task we want to execute in our application that it is nothing but a job trigger trigger that it is nothing but a stored program which will be fired at a given time there are two types of triggers first one is simple trigger its lifetime as only once so once if it is fired then after this it will go for dead state second one is cron trigger cron trigger which can be scheduled for example let's say it has to be fired for every one hour cron trigger is a solution for it and third component of quads is scheduler which it is used to schedule a particular job whenever a trigger has been occurred so scheduler job is to schedule a particular job with a given trigger so these are the components of quads so let's step into implementation of quads so i do have the eclipse available and for the environment setup first we have to download the quads jar files for that we have to go to www.quadsscheduler.org then go to downloads and download the latest version of quads i have already downloaded the latest version and it is available with me so this is what it is quads 2.2.3 distribution.tar.gz so let's uh, we have to extract it i have the extracted folder now we have to include this folder to our application simple uh, first let me create a simple java application project name simple quads example now i have to include the jar files whatever i have extracted So I'm going to include all the jar files. So it doesn't downloads. Extracted folder as quads 2.2.3 and get inside of lib folder and we do have all the jar files. We have to include all these jar files to our project. Apply. Okay. 
now we are done with the environment setup first we have to create a job class which is a component of quads as i said there are three components one is job one is trigger and one is scheduler first i have to create a job see the name could be quads job and it is a pojo class so i'm not including main method in it this job class that it has to implement job interface which is available in the downloaded jar files of quads so job interface i have to include this i mean import this so in this job interface we do have a method called execute we have to override that in our quads job class and whatever task that we have to execute that it has to be inside of that execute method an implemented method is nothing but execute method so whatever task we have to perform that it should be inside of this execute method see the task is simply display a message and the current system time step so import this from java.io sorry you tell so first component of quads that is done job job class second we have to create a trigger that trigger has to be inside a main class so let me create an other class which has main method quads main we can call this my class as anything public static void main finish so first i have to create a trigger as i said there are two types of trigger simple trigger and cron trigger first i'm going to show about simple trigger trigger t1 is equal to trigger builder it is nothing but a class which has the methods what we can use to create our trigger with identity is what i'm using to give a name for this trigger let's call this trigger as trigger1 or simple trigger it is nothing but a simple trigger so i'm going to start now so as soon as i run this program this trigger will be fired so import the packages required for it from quads jar files now we do have the trigger available so here i have to define a job and tie it to our job class define a job and tie it to our job class whatever we have created so we do have job builder we can make use of it dot new job and we have to specify the job class name here quads dot class what we have created
quads job at us yeah that is the error message we have created a class called quads job now build so I have defined a job and I have tied that to our job class we have to hold this reference variable inside job detail so in our main class we do have a job job detail available and a trigger a simple trigger available now the next component is scheduler which it is used to schedule create a trigger here we do have the std schedule factory available in the downloaded jar file which is nothing but a factory of schedule objects readily available and we can take one object from that factory and we can make use of it std schedule factory dot get default scheduler and we have to hold the reference inside scheduler I think we have to yeah add the throws class then we have to start the scheduler the method is sc dot start now whatever schedule we have to perform that it has to be but I mean inside of this start method sc dot schedule job so the job detail is job and argument as t1 so whenever this trigger has been fired it will schedule this job to be executed so I'm going to save this program and run run a simple Java application yeah here is the output we have defined a simple message called hello and after that we are displaying current timestamp it is nothing but a simple trigger which is firing whenever I run this program so the lifetime of this trigger is only once so let me show you about cron trigger so let's comment the simple trigger and let's create a trigger t1 is equal to it is same tell here so I'm making use of the same statement let's call this as cron trigger dot but schedule here we have to specify the scheduler expression it is a cron scheduler so cron schedule builder dot cron schedule and we have to specify the cron expression cron expression is nothing but when the trigger has to be fired and this cron expression can be obtained from a site so let's go to that that site www.cronmaker.com and here we can get the cron expression for it say for every one minute I uh, this trigger has to be fired so I need a cron expression for that generate cron expression and it will green the it will give the cron expression just 
copy the scroll format and give it here and it should be inside double quotes dot build so I have created a cron trigger so this trigger will be fired for every one minute and the job scheduler it schedules this trigger with this job so I mean to say for every one minute it display hello message and the current date and timestamp I mean timestamp of it so let's run this program so the current time as 9 1 so it will be fired at 9 2 yeah the time as 9 2 so our job it has been fired again the trigger will be fired for 9 3 and so on because it is a cron trigger and there is another one more example I will create a trigger which will be fired for every five seconds and it performs the job whatever we have defined so let me create that trigger here I'm going to make use of the statements whatever I have defined before So with identity of cron trigger dot with schedule and here I'm going to make use of simple schedule fact simple schedule builder dot uh, we do have a method here simple schedule yeah dot with interval in seconds with interval in seconds and I have to specify the second here let's say five seconds and this has to be repeated forever and I'm building this cron scheduler sorry cron trigger so I have created this trigger now I have assigned this trigger with this job and this trigger will be fired for every five seconds so that we could see our job will be executed for every five seconds let me save this and I'm running this so first it has displayed then after five seconds it will be displayed again yeah boom yes third time then after five seconds it will be displayed again and it will be repeated forever this is the example for quads and an interaction hope you all liked it please write back to puneet kumar dot narasim haya at the rate of gmail.com for any queries or feedback thanks for watching this video